Hey everybody, Professor Cynical back again with another glitch video. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you the updated version to the Dead Man's glitch, which also makes it console friendly. So everybody on console now should be able to do these types of glitches very, very easily. All right, so before we do get into today's video, guys, I just want to announce the deal of the day. Let's do it. So I want to present to you today with the Corsair M65 Elite RGB gaming mouse. Now, this particular mouse is the same one I have been using for years. And when I first bought this mouse, it was a lot more than $59.99. So to see it down in price, guys, is absolutely amazing. Now, if you are interested in this mouse, then all you need to do is click on my affiliate link in the video description down below and you can read more about it. All right, let's get into today's video. All right, guys, so the very first thing you need to do is A, B in the anomaly and jump in, jump out of your ship. Now, this is gonna create a save point. Now, it's very, very important for this glitch to start working. So once you make the save, what you wanna do is run up to the back of the anomaly. I've chosen to go this route, guys, so if you're new to the game, just follow what I'm doing here. And all you need to do now is go to the portal at the back of the anomaly. You'll see a big guy standing there, maybe some players as well. So go and click on the teleporter and it has to be any one of your bases. So you just need to click on your base there and scroll down. Now, preferably pick a base that doesn't have that many items in there because that's going to help with any loading times like get that kind of thing. Because this is such a new glitch and I did say this on my other video, you want to try and make everything as smooth as possible in order to guarantee success. So, like I said, pick a base and then teleport through. Once you're on the other side, you want to start getting things into your actual personal inventory that you want to duplicate now it can be anything that you want but you want to start having the items in your exosuit it's very 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 important and when you land on the other side as well go into your main use options and make sure that you have the return to the anomaly icon that's very important if you don't you need to go back up to the anomaly and redo it again until you do all right so i picked this world it's only got a very few little bit of items in there nothing too crazy all right, so in my inventory right now, in my exosuit, I have got everything that I personally want to duplicate, which is absolutely fantastic. So what we're going to do now is once you put everything in that you want to duplicate, you're going to jump in, jump out, and create another save point. So now this is the second part of the glitch. As it's called, obviously, the dead man's glitch, you're going to have to... To, you're going to have to end it for yourself now there's a few ways you can do this but my personal and favorite way of doing this is by using the geology cannon so i'm going to fuel mine up the now make sure that everything is now working aim it to the ground and good night so there we go guys that's me this is the dead man's glitch like it says so you need to make sure guys that you kill your character one way or another All right, guys, so when you're back in, you'll get a message saying generation, whatever number that is, is how many times that you've killed your character. Now, what you want to do is make sure that you still have your return to the anomaly in your toolbar down there and also that you jump in, jump out of your ship to create a save. Now, you won't have any items in your exosuit. They've all been dropped over here, which is absolutely perfect. We are still in line here for the glitch to be working perfectly and beautifully so there we go so we just picked up everything there we've got everything back in our exosuit that's fantastic now we're going to use that return to the anomaly function so go ahead use that now and once you're back in on the other side it will take a little bit of time for the game to load in because i still think hello games really does need to optimize this brand new game setting but when you're in on the other side anyway, just wait a few seconds if you're on PC for it to load in properly. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot of lag. Or if you're on console, you will have to wait a little bit longer. But once everything is loaded in properly, then make the transfer because you want to make sure that you are transferring and it sends properly. So whenever it stops lagging for you for things to start loading in properly, then make the transfer. Once the transfer is complete, you then want to go back and reload your auto save. So there we go, guys. Once we're back in, as you can see, we're still getting items in from picking things up the last time. That's completely normal, so don't worry about that. And look at that. Now we have the grave over there still. And if we go into our exosuit, 
boom. Look at that, guys. We have everything now still in our exhaust suit. And we have a grave over there, which means that is filled up with all of those juicy items. Yet again, all we need to do is go ahead, open up the grave, and we can start collecting all our items back yet again. And everything has just been duplicated. I mean, how insane is that? Now, don't worry about anything else, guys. If you run out of room, like I'm doing here, don't worry about it. Just start transferring things over to your ship, delete a few things, that kind of thing, and keep on getting the items back out of your grave. Now, this is a fantastic method, guys, for duplication, and especially for console players, because now you don't need to do any flybys. There's nothing now that can stop console players from being able to do these glitches. All right, guys, I want to thank my wonderful patrons for today's video. As always, Frank Cheeto, Jerry Richard, Bo Jeff, The Dread Sky, Captain Z, 1420, Mr. Dreads, Geeky96, and our super fan, Steve. Thank you all very, very, very much for your continued contribution and support to the channel, guys. Now, if you, the viewer, are watching this here today and would like to support the channel, you can click on my Patreon link in the video description. That'll take you over to my Patreon page and you can support me via a tier that way. Now, thank you all very, very, very much as always for watching. My name is Professor Cynical and I'll catch you all again in the next one. Bye for now.